Hey, Facebook world. Welcome to writing for people who like to write and people who hate it. Um, I guess like I think of myself in an, as an anomaly, but I'm super happy to learn that I'm not. Meaning, I was always like, oh, like there's nobody who likes dirt bikes and lifting weights and reading books and writing poetry. Um, but the more that I share and reach out and search for my tribe, put out my tribe vibe, the more they come to me. Um, and an overwhelming amount of the time, I find my tribe when I'm doing rock recovery stuff, either as a coach or as a participant, because I love it so much I do both. Um, I, I guess I don't say this enough, but I can't thank rock recovery enough for my own recovery journey. Like I am the person I am because of this organization. So I love that you're here with me. I'm trying to, to figure out how to see like who's actually on. There we go. I am the Hold person on. I am Sorry. because of oh, yeah. this organization. My voice. All right. Well, as long as you guys don't mind it, that's guys and girls, my friends. That's all that matters. Um, Today's writing activity inspired by I can't even because this week there was a whole lot of I can't even going on up up in my brain um so I was like you know what the point of my writing class is to kind of process things in a new way and share like a uh, writing as an approachable thing you know it's not like this big scary monster it just can be goofy or serious and Anyways, I can't even. That's what we're doing today. So hopefully you have your writing utensil. It could just be your computer, pen, notebook, whatever it is. And I'd like you to write some words down, list style, leave some space because we're going to put numbers next to them. But uh, don't get ahead of me. Don't worry about those numbers yet. I'm going to tell you what to write and then I'm going to give you some time to write your own. So here it is. First, write down, do the dishes. Under that, stay home one more day. Leave the house. Write, just R, wait, no, <laughs> W-R-I-T-E. Um, so those of you joining us, we're just writing a list of the things that I say. Um, also on that list, you're gonna put clean, Eat veggies or vegetables, depending on your preference. Work out. Watch another TikTok. Right. So that was kind of my brainstorm. Um, so those of you that are just popping in, I'm going to type out what we just started with. Though Those of you who are already here, I'm going to set a timer for four minutes. And what I'd like you to do is add to your list. Don't judge me when you see what I wrote mine on. <laughs> an envelope. I think it's an IRS thing. But anyways, um, you're just listing out some things that I'll type. And while you're waiting for me, if you're new or if you're already here, think of other things. What are some things that this week or this month you've been like, I can't even, I cannot do that. I will not do another blank. Um, list them out. Hey, Vinny, he just got here. So again, I'm going to write that. The rest of you, um, go ahead and take three minutes to list out all the things you can't even. Right, we got another two minutes. So again, those of you just joining, I did put it in the chat. You're just listing down in a column all the things you're sick of doing.
you got about another minute and a half and you're like, shoot, Lisa, I'm out of things to list. Go ahead and add some things you do like doing. About another minute, working on your listness. I'm sorry, you didn't come here for my singing. <laughs> I won't do that again. Add it to the list. I can't even listen to Lisa sing another weird song. It's okay, I got you fam, I'm not gonna do it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put that on my list. Use slang. I can't even. All right, go ahead and put those pens, pencils, keyboards, whatever they are, down. If you've been here before, you've heard me talk about it, but one of the most difficult parts of writing is stepping away from it um, and letting it just live without judging it. Metaphor, it's really hard to do in life also. Just be yourself and don't judge it. Which by the way, Kathy said I should sing. Maybe I should just sing and be myself and not judge it. But anyways, that's different. Um, thanks, Kathy. So put your pen down. Um, I'm going to talk to you about two things before we go back to that list. Um, so the first one is this really cool fact that when we're listing things, we're in one side of our brain, the manager side that's used to figuring things out and plans and getting it out on paper. And that's important if we're writing, right? You, it wants to make sense. But we need to get to the other side of the brain, that really creative side, the one we don't always swerve to immediately. Um, some people are lucky enough to get there in a snap, but there are some tricks you can do to help your brain. So what I want you to do is take your non-dominant hand, which happens to be the left one for me, and we're going to use it for an activity. If you're ambidextrous, awesome. Pick the one you're less comfortable with or maybe switch back and forth. Um, so what we're going to do with our non-dominant hand is we're just going to rate the things on our list. Is desirability. Um, so for example, the first one on my list is do the dishes. If I really want to do it, like I'm actually mad I'm here in my basement talking to you about writing because I want to wash the dishes so bad, that's a 10. Um, if I'm like, yeah, I could go for the rest of my life without seeing those dishes. I hate them and I'm never doing it again unless I absolutely have to and my life depends on it, then that's a one, okay? Um, so go ahead and look at your list and rate everything from one to 10. But here's, here's the, the tricky part. There's always a catch. You cannot use seven. That's right, here's why. Studies show on a Likert scale, you know, one to 10, most people choose five to seven. Five's a maybe, six is a uh, bleh, and a seven's like, yeah, I kind of want to do it. Maybe, probably, I'm going to say yes, even though it might be a no. Um, so if you take seven out of the equation, an eight is like, yep, definitely want to do it. But a six, that's so close to no or maybe that you should probably just, just decline it. Um, so that's something I use in my personal life. I'm just like, hmm, do I really want to Zoom another friend? I like them, but if it's not an eight through ten, the answer's no. I digress often. Um, if you're just joining us and you do not have a list, just go ahead and write down maybe the top three things that, that you really don't want to do anymore. Um, the rest of us, we're taking our non-dominant hand and we are rating everything on our list from one to ten. Okay, ready, set, go. Like, I wrote use slang and I, I kind of do want to use it, so I'm going to make that one an eight. Hmm. 
No sevens, friends. If you think I'm making a weird face, it's because I'm writing with my left hand. It is awful. Okay, hopefully you finished. You thought my envelope writing was a mess? Look at those numbers. Ew. <laughs> um, so that was just a way for us to kind of access the other part of our brain and get to our real writing activity. Um, we are going to write a creative 10 reasons why you can't. Um, so let me maybe give you an example. Um, yesterday I did this activity, 10 reasons why I can't write. You know, because sometimes you get writer's block and I was like, oh, I can easily come up with 10 reasons. And then when I sat down, I was like, actually, there's no reason why I shouldn't be writing. They're all kind of, they're kind of bull or they're flimsy, um, which is fun, which means you can have fun with it. So I'll just read you my number one. So it starts, I can't possibly write today because one, every sing, mom, single sentences, mom, breathe, mom. And now my brain is swimming with three letters, which isn't nearly enough to make anything complete, except if I let them be, which now that I think about it, I guess I could say that even in the frustration, my motherhood, his love, and the time we have right now at home is all that I need. Um, so yeah, it started off as something silly and then it got serious. You really never know where your writing is going to take you until you let it take you there. So look at your list. I don't care if you pick something you want to do and then you come up with 10 wild random reasons why you can't actually do it. Or if you look at your list and you say whatever's closest to one, like for me it's cleaning, 10 reasons why you can't clean, and then relieve yourself of the burden. You now don't have to do it because your writing activity said so. Um, any questions before I set a timer? While I'm waiting for questions, I'm going to write the directions in the comments. I don't see any comments. So let's see what time is it. We've got 214. Mm, 14. Let's say 24. Math. Also, it's kind of like my singing. I do it, but not well. Um, let's say 10 minutes, 10 solid minutes. I give this one for each idea. So you're gonna spend 10 minutes picking um writing down 10 reasons why you can't do whatever it is on your list. I recommend that if it comes quickly to you, you go back in and flesh it out with make those ideas more vibrant. Um, but if it, it doesn't come at all or it's boring to you, maybe pick a second thing on your list. The, the real key here is that you just write for those 10 minutes without worrying whether or not what you're writing is garbage or beautiful or the beginning of the next prize winning poem or novel or whatever list get published on. Um, it's just letting your brain flow. All right, I have done enough talking. I'm gonna set the timer, 10 minutes, and we will write. Go. All right, for anyone just joining us here, the directions for the earlier pieces are in the chat. I don't know if you can scroll up and see them. 
If not, doesn't matter. You're just going to start with 10 reasons why you can't and then pick something um, that you should feel like you should be doing today but probably don't want to and we're going to spend 10 minutes coming up with reasons why you can't We're about halfway done. Sorry to interrupt, but if you are feeling stuck, remember on that original brainstorm where we put all of the things we felt like we can't do and we maybe put some of the things we wanted, um, anything you rated above a, a seven, you know, eight through 10, could now become reasons why you can't do the thing that you're avoiding. Um, so anyone just joining us, we're writing 10 reasons why we can't even blank. Fill in the blank with something that, that you just don't want to do anymore or today or ever. Um, and we have five minutes for you to work on that rough draft.
About three more minutes to work on your list of 10 reasons why you can't. Less than a minute left. I'm rushing to get mine in. I hope you're you're doing good over there. Whew. All right, um, go ahead and pause. I'm not going to use the word stop because we are going to come back to this. But again, walking away from writing is a really great way to improve it. Um, it gives you a break and to see it through new eyes. Um, so I'm going to jumble up your writing thoughts by sharing mine which isn't something I usually do on Sundays, but I think it'll be helpful today. And then I'm gonna give you some time to go back into your list. Um, and if you wanna make comments, that would be ideal. I have some backup points to talk to, but really what I'm looking for is if you're listening, comment on what you noticed I included. It doesn't have to be stuff I did well or stuff you wanna do. It could even be stuff that you're like, you included that, but I don't. And I don't mean specific facts, I mean, ideas. Did I include sensory images? Do you hear talk of, you know, taste, smell, sight? Um, does it create a picture? Um, is there humor? Is there sadness? Is there specific references to events? You know, so kind of these more global ideas of what's included. And that'll give you a framework to say, oh, maybe I should add some of that to my list. Um, or you can just listen, or you can mute your computer. Anyways, here it is. Rough draft, 10 reasons I can't clean. One, those dust bunnies. Well, you see, since we've been quarantined, they're the closest thing to other life in this house. I couldn't possibly eradicate the only friends we've been allowed to see. Two, speaking of friends, no one can come over, so why bother? Three, I tried to. 
I really tried to. It's just that my girlfriend challenged me to a TikTok duet, and although I would rather clean, honestly, really, I can't let her down, and I can't put the phone down because I had to watch her video 72 times, and then another 312 similar videos, and it's just a lot of work. I mean, I can't let hers be better, and I really can't. Four. I'm exhausted. Five. I lost the broom. Sometime between last Sun Moon Tuesday and this past whatever day, it's gone. Six. The broom? It's probably behind the pile of boxes, which is covering the floor so I can't even walk in the living room. Which is full because I decided COVIDcation was a great time to remodel. Except I never finished what I started, which is also why I can't clean today. I have things to do. Seven. Important things. Read, eat brownies, binge on Stranger Things, and cuddle my dogs. Eight. There's this book. I should be reading it. It was assigned to me in 10th grade. I've been putting it off for so long. It would be a shame not to work on it now. Nine. Family. They need me. All of them. And I need them to pick up the slack and start cleaning themselves. I can't do it for them all the time. Actually, number 10, I don't want to. And that's okay. Um, so that's my 10. And if you want, go ahead and leave some comments of some the types of things that you've heard in there. All right, like I said, I, oh, there we go. Honesty. There was, there was a little bit of exaggeration too. But honesty is important. We can only write what we know. But I like to start, I think of that as a diving board, right? Like the pool is our process. Um, what we know is the diving board that springs us into creative writing, right? There's certainly a time and place to be completely vulnerable, your journal, or if you choose to embark on memoir. Um, but when you think of writing, what you know is the foundation, and then you can exaggerate it, elaborate. Um, for example, I really moved a mattress out into the living room. I can walk around it. But it's more fun to think of a room piled with boxes, right? Um, so I took the diving board of my real life and created an image that made more sense for my purpose. Ridiculousness. Um, emotions are super important. Kathy, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the things when I looked at my draft as a writer, there is emotions in there, which is one of six senses we really want to talk about. I think six. <laughs> there I go with math again. Um, I didn't hear any sounds. Like, I always like to try to incorporate something that invokes sound. It could be onomatopoeia, like a bang. You know, actually, now maybe I'm thinking I could put that in with the boxes. And this is kind of where I either want you to list for yourself to do or just listen and I'll type it. Um, you should have feelings in there. You should have some sounds. Try to evoke taste or smell. Um, sometimes you can hit both at once. Like, that, I think... Um, I talked about brownies, right? I could talk about being distracted by the scent of brownies or, you know, I would really like to clean, but I'm obsessed with the bag of chips in the cupboard and it just keeps calling my name. Um, something about the salt, right? So taste, um, smell, sight. Sometimes you just write what you see point blank or you create this image so your readers can really make a picture in their mind. And what's really cool is you can give them your exact picture or you can refer to it and then they're allowed to create a picture that, that's meaningful to them. Um, so again, that, that's up to you as a writer where you wanna go. I lost count, so we got feelings, sounds, taste, smell, sight. Oh, duh, touch, yes, it was six, yay me, I got it right. <laughs> 
texture. Um, that's another thing that was missing in mine. I don't, I don't see any, there's nothing like rough or hard or soft or velvety or, um, like serene. Texture can mean a lot of different things. Um, I'm also going to say maybe color is something you want to add into there. Color can have a pretty big impact. You know, if I say the color black, most of our minds are going to go a certain way. If I say the color orange or yellow, um, our minds are going to go a different way. And it's not always intentional. So you can really amp up the emotional aspect of a piece just by putting some color words in there. Um, so what I want you to do now is go back to your writing piece and look for these things. If you find them, underline them. If you don't, add them. Figure out where it sounds best. Um, so let's make this a little bit shorter of one. Let's go ahead with uh, five minutes. Start my timer and I will write these directions in the in the chat for everybody. About another two minutes to dig back into those lists and make them better, more serious, funnier, um, more vivid, more emotional, more honest, less honest.
All right, about 30 seconds. Go ahead and finish up that sentence or phrase you're working on. Oh man, that is the end of the timer. Big deep breath, put your list to the side. Um, and we'll take it back to the chats. Um, Michael says, Spartan race, which ones have you done? Um, I did the, the one in Tuxedo Park, which at the beginning of this video, if you're here, that's kind of what I was saying is, I used to think I was this weird mix of like super into athletics and um, adrenaline packed sports but also could read and write all day, every day. Um, so Michael, I'm happy to see that you're into Spartan races and also at the writing hangout. Um, that is my tribe. My tribe is also recovery fitness. Um, so, so I have a chat link to other recovery resources and just wanna remind you that, that that's kind of what brings me here, right? Like finding hobbies and living my best life in sobriety and celebrating the fact that I'm in recovery um, and being able to build a community with other people who do the same. Um, so I just appreciate you all for being here and want to remind you that if you want support through your own recovery journey, we have um, peers or if you know somebody who needs support, it's all free. All you have to do is contact us. We'll hook you up. Um, the other last thing I want to say is thank you for joining me. And if you want to share your writing, I'm going to post a link to the Zoom hangout that I'll keep open for about 20, 30 minutes. Um, we can all share what we worked on or you can ask me questions. Um, like that's the part that I really miss about meeting in person. Um, and I think it'd be great to hear the 10 reasons that you all came up with. Um, I'm by no means an expert. I'm not published. I just write a lot. And that frequent practice is what's gonna push you forward too so anyways all that being said here's the information um and oh thanks Vinny. i'm glad and kathy it's like literally my pleasure i'm gonna be sad when we go back okay i don't actually want to say that out loud i will miss this opportunity when life picks up steam at some future point um so yeah <laughs> that's what i mean anyways yeah hopefully i'll see you guys girls friends in the zoom hangout if not i'll see you next sunday at two thank you bye you literally can